All right, guys, so I'm back, and you see no video source yet. I haven't re-added the new capture device to OBS yet, but what I wanted to do, I actually swapped out my cables. I used two newer HDMI cables. One was the cable that came with the capture device itself, and which is very short, and the other one is a cable that I got that came with my new Sony TV, and the reason I did that is because I wanted to see maybe with the new cables, maybe I could enable newer features like HDR and the like. I have absolutely no clue. What I want to do is just go to screen and video. VRR automatic. Still says it doesn't support it. Same thing HDR. Almost supported. Doesn't support it. So I guess this device does not support HDR and VRR. Because it's immediately telling me it's not supported. And there's not much I can do about that. Okay. Now. We need to try to add this as a, as a actual video capture source now and see what happens and see if it works. Okay? So let's do this. Let's add media, not media source, a video capture device. And I'm going to call this the Avermedia Live Portable. And, okay, Avermedia. Wow, it's called completely something completely different. Avermedia LP2 Plus Steam Stream Engine 1. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hold on. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. First of all, it's not even in the right spot. Oh, no! I f hold on, I fucked it up. Okay, it's not in the right spot. Let me get it down here. It's got to be at the bottom so we can see everything else. Okay. Okay. Uh, good. Good. Now, let's fuck with it a little bit. First of all, can you hear? No. You have no audio, correct? So I have to set it up. It's not set up properly. Because you have no audio right now. Okay. Um, so let's do this. Let's find it. Here we go. Properties. Here it is. So it basically is on device default. Um, but I can set it to be wave out to windows. You still don't have audio, huh? Right? No audio. And I'm wondering if I need to restart the, uh, to restart to get audio from it. Hold on a second here. There it is. Marks is crossed. I can see your pixels. There you go. Very nice. So... Battle Duck, I'll see you later. I'm going to do this tonight on the late stream. We got to get the thing is we got to get the audio working. Once we get the audio working, I think we're good to go. What's weird is the audio was working before, right? So let's see here. Um, properties. We've got it on defaults, but what if I don't want? I guess if we put it on device defaults, it's fine because it'll always be 1080p, 59.94 frames or whatever. Um, and the video formats by default as well. I guess my issue is what's up with the audio, right? Audio, desktop, audio. I want it to be wave out. If I do that, you guys should be able to hear the capture device audio playing through Windows. But for right now, it's not working for some reason, right? You guys think the audio looks better? The quality looks better? You actually think so? I'm seeing delay. I am seeing some delay. Like you guys, definitely what you're seeing is good frame rate. But when I do this, I see no delay whatsoever on my TV, but I see delay in OBS. Yeah, I see delay in OBS for some reason. I don't know why. And I'm wondering if that's going to cause audio desync. 
that makes me nervous. Because I am seeing a slight delay when I put... It's no delay whatsoever on my TV. It looks like there's a slight delay in OBS. I know there's no audio, but that's what I'm thinking. If Even if I get the audio working, right? It may it, There may be an audio desync because you might hear the live audio, but the video might be slightly behind, which is not good at all. Undo what I did to break the audio. I had it set as a completely different uh, input source. Watch. I had it set as this. Did you notice the color just changed? It did. The color changed. Oh, by the way, now there's no delay. There's no delay right now. But if I do this... There's delay. Oh, crap. Right? So, what it is, is it's being detected as two different sources. And when I use this one, there's delay. I, I can't use that. I, I can't have video delay. There's That's going to cause major problems. So, I actually have to select this one. But now there's no audio, right? Now you guys can't hear any audio. Now there's no delay, though. When I move around, there's no delay at all. The second I push, it's moving. So that's good. That's what I need. No delay. It says washed out. You're right. But I think I can adjust it. I think I can adjust the colors a bit. If I go to properties and configure video... Perhaps it needs a slight adjustment of saturation. What would make it look better? See that? I can make more saturation. See? I think what it is, is wa this looks washed out. If I go stronger saturation, it's better, right? <clears throat> My ruins is I would suggest in the TV 4K, PS5 at 4K stream to, to 1080. How would you even do that? First of all, you can't even run. doesn't make sense. 4K 60 frames in most games doesn't even exist. I'd be playing it th only 30 frames. <laughs> anyway. So, anyway. Oh, you want the God of War image? There you go. So. This makes it too bright. This makes it darker. That's contrast. Let me hit default. Everything's in default right now. There's also white balance. Look. Oh, white balance doesn't do shit. White balance doesn't affect anything. There's bright. This is brightness. See that? That's brightness. Let's go to default again. What do you think? And then we got to figure out this audio thing, guys. We got to figure out why the audio is not working. Turn the contrast down. Did I set audio settings in RE Central first? No, I did not. He said, that might fix it. I have to know the device it's using. I did not. All right, hold on. You guys want me to turn the contrast down a bit? Like that? Maybe contrast slightly down. Saturation slightly up like this. That look a little better? Like I said, now we're avoiding lag, which is great. Okay. Fly. Okay. Uh, still don't have audio, though. Which we had before. We had audio before. Right? It was working slightly. Now, now I'm not getting audio. So, 
I guess what I should do... We didn't add it over here yet. No, we didn't. We only added it as a source here. Okay. Um, I was just recommended run the software and see if I can get that to select uh, an audio source. Let me see. Device occupied. Ugh. Damn it. Damn it. Basically, it says device occupied. It won't release the device until I close OBS, I guess. Unless I completely remove it again as a video source. Let me try removing it as a video source again. Completely. Which sucks. I gotta reset it up. What am I gonna do, right? Okay, I removed it completely. Now let's see if this program works. This fucking dual monitor shit pisses me off. Okay, I'm trying again. Alright. Okay. Now it's freed up over here. And... See, I don't know how to, how to even check audio on this. Live game, analog input, microphone, speakers. What the fuck? Oh, this is for me capturing. What do you mean you can hear it? You can hear it right now? Oh, that's... You want to know why? Because the audio is working through the other software. Since, the, since the, it's working through the other software, right? You can hear the audio. But the question is, how do I get that to work through OBS? So the audio is working... You can't use both. It's not possible to use both. Once the video is being used in one or the other, it doesn't work. Swago Nito, I have no idea what you're talking about. I have to, I have to look. I'm not using that in OBS right now. We're, we're trying to figure this out. So the audio works through the third-party software it came with. The audio is, does not seem to be working through OBS for some reason. Okay, but it seems to be working here. So, uh, we'll do this in a second, Spigo Nito. We'll try that out, what you just said, but I don't know where that is. Is it the setting in OBS? It's just a setting in OBS, says Darren. All right, so we know the audio works. That's good. Let's get this re-added as a video source now. Avermedia Portable. There it is. Still looks washed out.
Okay. So we'll hit OK. We'll add it again. You know, keep in mind we can fix the color. The color is not the concern right now. The concern right now is the audio. How do we get audio from it? Okay. You're not hearing the audio very faint. What you're hearing is it's playing through my headphones over here and you're picking up on the mic. It's insanely low. That's that's not it. That's not coming from the device. Uh, I got a $4.20 tip. For Anonymous saying, just now getting to your stream. Nice to see you have capture card. Does it does it can I get in game in 4K now? I don't want I don't want to game it. If I game in 4K, I can't even do 60 frames. You realize that the majority of games out there, if you play them in 4K, you can't do 60 frames per second. Why would I want that? When I've been playing everything in 60 frames, right? Why would I want to downgrade? It doesn't even make sense. So, no, I don't think I want to do 4K. Even if I can, I don't think I want to. Okay? Now, so here we are, and I'm trying to figure out how to get the audio to add. We've got mic audio. See, here it is. It's Avermedia Portable. But when I click on this, and I go to Properties, it just goes right back to the same property we were just staring at. And it doesn't get... It's not working. It's not It's not capturing the audio from it. See? Um, and I don't know why. The capture needs a custom audio source. Swago Nito, what were you saying? What were you saying? Can you say it again? Whatever you were saying before. The video is working and we can adjust the color. The problem is we need to get the audio working. And then we're good to go. Click on video capture device in your sources. Okay, I'm on the video capture device right now. Go to settings. What do you mean settings? There is no settings. If you click on settings, that's the general settings of all of OBS. Go to the bottom and select custom audio and audio device. That's not so it's not settings. It's wrong. Uh yeah, this is wrong. Whatever this is completely wrong. It says then go to settings. There's no settings. There's properties. Maybe they mean properties, not settings. If I click on properties, and you go all the way to the bottom, it says audio output mode. Not device, audio output mode. Just add a new audio source and select your capture card. How would I do that? Here's audio mixer. Add audio input capture. I don't know if this is going to work, but I can try it. Um, Aver Media Capture Device. I don't think it's going to work because it's going to say it's already selected. Nope. All it has is microphone from my computer, microphone or line in from my Scarlet, and line in from the device. It does not have the game audio from the capture device is an option. So that does not work. That does not work. Here's what I used to do. So I used to go to my old capture device. I would go to properties. All right. And if you scroll all the way down on the properties, at the very bottom, it would say audio output mode. And it says capture audio only by default. What I would do is I would change that to say output desktop mode, wave out. And I would click on that and hit OK. And then what would happen is when I moved around, the audio from the capture device would play through my desktop. And therefore, I'd be able to capture the audio that way. That's how I used to do it with the old device. It doesn't seem to be working with this one. 
But this one, it's not playing the audio when I do that for some odd reason. Indie Nerds, that doesn't work. I literally just said that doesn't work. We just did it. He says, hit the plus button in OBS, add audio input, and then select your card. Doesn't work. It'll only allow you to get the microphone jack off of that card. It doesn't take the video from the console and, and make that audio. You can't do that as a input source. It doesn't work. Indie Nerds, I use the same card. Well, then you don't do it the way you're telling me. You don't know what you're talking about. It doesn't work. If you hit plus and you say audio input capture, correct? That's all that it says here. Audio input capture, right? What the fuck is that thing? Do I... That's something new. I don't even know what that is. Um, it's not display capture, not game capture, not image, not media, right? It's audio input capture, right? When you click on that, the only options you get are microphone from there, which is the headphone jack from that device, microphone from uh, my webcam, or line in from my Scarlett mic over here. It's does, there's no audio source coming in as a separate audio source from that capture device. You, you actually have no idea what you're talking about, and you somehow claim you use this, and you don't even know what you're doing. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Is there a volume setting from my source? Uh, I'm not like it says. It says it's active. It says it's active as a audio source, but nothing's coming out of it. But there's no volume adjuster, no. Finding it properties doesn't do anything. Basically, I keep, going, I keep going to the same menus over and over. It's not helping. No, it has nothing to do with PS5 settings. Why would it have to, anything to do with PS5 settings? PS5 doesn't care what you're outputting to. It just its job is just to pump out a video audio signal. That's it. <clears throat> right. It can't be the PS5. The sound is working through the Avermedia software. That's correct. The Avermedia software is picking up audio and video it's just obs that for some reason is not converting the video right <clears throat> or excuse me the signal right to give us audio from it and i don't know why like i said with the previous capture device the old avra media what i would do i was i would click on that device i would go to properties if i scrolled all the way down on that device to the very very bottom there's an option that says audio output mode and there was three modes. One just says capture audio only. Okay. One says capture desktop audio direct sound. And one says capture desktop audio wave out. Okay. None of them seem to do anything on this one. At least when I did it with my old device, if I did wave out, then what would happen is the game audio would play through my PC itself. So that's how I would hear. I'd monitor the audio through the PC and everything. And it would capture it. That's how I got it. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> God, obviously we're not getting this to work now. We got a late stream tonight. We got to keep messing with this till we get the audio to work. It could take all night at this point. We need op we need ideas and options, guys. The Xbox would not be any different. It's the same exact thing. Why would it be different? It's not going to help anything. No, why would I have to hook an auxiliary cord from the card to the computer 
when I'm getting audio out of it, we just use the third-party software it came with and it's getting audio. Custom audio then stream engine? What does that mean? And where is custom audio, brown boy? What is that? You are confusing me. Yeah, this setting doesn't work either. I was trying different settings here. This setting doesn't seem to work either. Uh, this setting doesn't work. No matter what, it's dead. No audio coming out of it, right? You cannot use third-party software and then also get this as an input in OBS. It doesn't work. It says that the device is occupied. Selecting the microphone would work. It's not going to work, but I'll test it regardless. We'll test it, okay? I know it's not going to work, but I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. So we're going to do... Add uh, audio input capture, and we're going to say Avermedia, Avermedia audio, and we're going to say the microphone. Live Game Portable 2 Plus, okay? Did it seriously fucking work? Why does that work? It works. That doesn't even make sense. It's asking you for the microphone input from the front of the device, but it, instead it's using the audio from the video source. It works, though. Thank you. Whoever found that workaround, that doesn't even make any sense of any, of any kind. The only problem is now... Okay, are you guys hearing anything right now? There's no ambient noise, correct? Now, everyone, tell me right now. I'm going to be perfectly quiet. You tell me if you hear anything. Okay, ready? No, all you're hearing is silence. Okay, the reason I'm asking, according to OBS, there's a, an ongoing ambient noise coming from the capture device. And I don't know what it is. That bar is showing as half filled right now. And I don't know why. Also, and this could be a major problem, it's saying right now that the audio is maxed on the capture device. It's at 100%. I'm picking up noise from the secret mic. There is an ambient sound. Well, if you're hearing the if you're hearing the fan, that's okay. You're probably hearing the ambient sound from this microphone. But I'm wondering why. Like when I'm quiet on this mic, my audio goes all the way down on the mic goes to zero. I'm being completely quiet, and the the noise input from the PS5, this capture device, is showing us like way high. And I don't get it. Okay, okay real quick, because I have to go, because it's time for dinner. At least we got this semi-working. Let's boot up God of War, and you tell me how this sounds, okay? And by the way, don't worry. Appearance, we can tweak. We can tweak the color. We can tweak the, the saturation. We're not really testing that. What we want to see is the audio now. How does the game sound, okay? Okay. It's 
Get the game booted. I'll run around in circles. You guys tell me how it sounds. So this is where I was when the game, when the, the, the capture device crapped out the other day. Yeah, this is exactly where I was. Oh, by the way, I'm already maxed CPU. I'm not kidding. I'm already at max CPU and I'm just walking around. And it says my CPU is maxed. It's choppy. It's choppy because my CPU is maxing out. <gasps> So it looks choppy to you guys. The sound is off. I look I guess we have to troubleshoot tonight. I guess we have to troubleshoot tonight. Unfortunately, it's choppy. Audio is fine, but the game is choppy. Sound is good, but the video is choppy. The sound works, but the audio is choppy now. Or the video is choppy now. Only slightly choppy doesn't look particularly bad. Choppy when you look around. You just went from 70 to 84 percent, 85 percent, 80 something percent, just doing this. Just rotating, it's 70 to 80% CPU use. Simply just rotating it around. Yeah. I'm just curious about something. Ready for a test? How was that? Ready again? Okay. I'm going to walk around. I'm going to mess around. Now, I want you guys to pay attention to something. This is very important. Listen to the audio and tell me if the audio is synced when I do things, okay? Tell me when I attack if the audio is synced. Ready? Okay, so if you want to know what I changed, so now we definitely need to experiment tonight. What I changed is I went from this being a video source that was the old one to this new one that appeared when I added in the software, okay? However, I was afraid that was going to cause audio desync. Apparently, if it doesn't, this is much better. If there's no audio desync, this is going to dramatically improve my content. Do you see how smooth this is as I'm rotating? Even I'm seeing the difference over here. Like I'm seeing a dramatic difference in smoothness rotating this around. It's only going to around 70% CPU use doing this. It used to be 90 or above. It's only 70 now. Okay.
Good. Okay, so tonight we will test again. What we need to do is kind of do fi finishing touches. I think this looks good. The color looks great, doesn't it? So using this new setting or whatever, the color is outstandingly good. As long as the audio is synced and everything is good, then we are good to go. And what we will do tonight, we will test this with multiple games. We'll test this with God of War. <clears throat> we will test this with Call of Duty. We're going to test this with all the games that I typically have problems with. And we're going to see if it runs better. I think this is going to work wonders for Call of Duty from what I'm seeing. Carliga did a super J. His quality is better. Color saturation is now amazing. You guys saying the color looks way better now, huh? You guys are sure the audio is all right? That's what we, we got to do different tests tonight, okay? I think the color looks sweet. And if the frame rate is smooth, we are dramatically improved from what I used to have. So we have to see tonight how this goes, Okay. All right, can we test Pokemon? We could, Derek. Although Pokemon looks like shit anyway. <laughs> like Pokemon won't look any better. Look, Pokemon just is terrible. I'm thinking, pick, pick the games that are going to, going to need the better frame rates. Like this game, absolutely. Call of Duty, absolutely. Um, uh, maybe High on Life. Run around in High on Life. See how that looks at high frame rate. And uh, I was feel like a fighting game, right? Like we get a fighting game on there that needs high frame rate and see how that looks. So you guys are saying this looks really good. All right. All right. Let us adjourn for now. Thank you for being patient. Tonight we continue. Tonight we will do a further test where I will go through various different games and we'll test audio sync. We'll test video quality. We'll do PS5. We'll do Xbox. We'll test it all. Okay? Does that sound good? Thank you for being very patient. We can also mess with other settings. That's the thing. Like right now we're just doing default settings. We could try messing with other settings, but... I don't actually know what would work. Like, we could try, um, see if it'll do, like, 120 hertz as opposed to 60. But I don't think YouTube will do that, right? I don't think YouTube does 120. I think the highest YouTube does is 60. Um, 1440? I don't know. Again, I don't know. And YouTube, by the way, apparently video on YouTube 1440 does not look good. I've heard that it actually is, like, not true 1440. It, it kind of messes it up. But let's mess around tonight, all right, guys? Thank you for being patient. We got it working. That's the important thing. The new device is working, okay? We may have dramatic improvements to the quality. I think the color looks much better, right? So we'll see tonight. Let's see. I'm excited for this. I hope you guys will join me tonight on the late stream. For those watching on demand on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed this weird day. But uh, tonight, perhaps we will have actual important progress on my streams for the first time in ages, huh? Thank you all.